Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to take a look at an Android app called APRS Messenger. We're usually using APRS Messenger with the cross-country wireless digi tracker, but the software has a really cool second function. The software can be used as a standalone app to send our beacons to the APRS IS without the use of our amateur radios using only the mobile phone and our data plan you'll still be able to find your beacon on APRS.fi. And if there are eye gates in your area which beacon traffic from APRS IS, stations operating over RF will get your beacon as well. Starting up APRS Messenger without a digi tracker is really simple. You simply choose to start without Bluetooth digi tracker. If this is your first time starting up APRS Messenger, you'll get a configuration warning. Go ahead and click OK and then select configuration from the menu. There are only three settings in APRS Messenger. That's your amateur radio call sign, your APRS IS passcode, and the beacon text that you want to send. Go ahead and enter the information in the fields, then press the back button to save. Once you've entered your configuration settings, go ahead and tap Start Beaconing. Once the app has acquired a GPS fix, you'll notice a green flash and the Start iGate logo will actually change into iGating. At this point, you'll be able to find your position beacon on APRS.fi. There are a couple of cool features in APRS Messenger, and the messaging functionality is one such feature. Clicking the messaging button will take us to the messaging screen. As with the APRS functional specification, you can enter an email address or the call sign of another APRS operator. So the messaging functionality works pretty much like any other APRS client. APRS Messenger also has a mapping functionality. It doesn't always work correctly and it's not working at the moment in the current version but I'm hopeful that the cross-country wireless will get it up and running again. In the perfect world, it would use a Google Maps API uh, for online maps and the uh, ability to specify uh, open street maps, a location in the device uh, so that you can choose your maps yourself. But since the point of this video is actually using the tracker over the mobile phone network, uh, this mapping functionality is insignificant at the moment. The only other function I'd like to show you in this video is the uh, GPS information window. This window simply provides you with lots of relevant information about your position. But remember, it doesn't work unless you actually click Start Beaconing and have your GPS enabled. So why would anyone want to use APRS without a radio? I can give you the perfect reason. Back in the day, I used to travel a lot, a different country every week. My son used to freak out about that because he wanted dad home, of course. One thing that was relatively consistent, no matter what project I was working on, were the facilities I were visiting almost always had Wi-Fi connection. So my family could look at APRS.fi or back in those days, findyou.com, and see my position in real time. Now, in Western Europe, it was absolutely no problem to carry an amateur radio around with you. But some of the jobs I did in North Africa or the Middle East, uh, it was next to impossible to get through an airport uh, with such a device that someone didn't necessarily understand. It was usually the, why do you need this type uh, questions and the whole nine yards. But no one ever suspects a mobile phone. Alright guys, let's lock down this video. APRS Messenger is a magnificent app uh, to give you absolutely simplified APRS capabilities from a mobile phone. You can use it with your, your DigiTracker or without it as a standalone app. That's the strength of the application. Are there some problems with it? Absolutely. But I promise to make a new video about it as uh, Cross Country Wireless sorts out the bugs. 
So, there you go. APRS client with a mobile phone. Please remember to like and share. Let people know what we're doing. And uh, if it's not too much trouble, have a wonderful day. Rock and roll. Thanks, guys. Ciao.